deadline for filing a challenge did expire at midnight and we were uh, informed by DEP this morning, no, no challenge was filed. And so the rule is struggling with what the right word to describe it. It is a final rule, but it is not effective because it, it, um, it still requires a ratification step. So at this point, the department is presumably um, uh, shopping or has already shopped uh, for legislators to uh, to try to find a House and Senate uh, member who will amend uh, the ratification, uh, or sorry, amend, amend on this rule to the ratification rule, a uh, ratification bill 7002. So haven't heard anything about whether that's been agreed or anything like that. So um, there we are. It's up to the legislature now. Any questions or comments about about that? OK. Hearing none. Um, let me uh, go ahead and share my screen and we'll put up the report. And uh, speaking of ratification, let me zoom this out a little bit. Uh, speaking of ratification, the first one on the list is actually the ratification bill. Uh, again, this is ordered by by activity, so not necessarily interest. But uh, just this week, uh, yesterday, um, uh, the the department's ratification bill with the domestic wastewater facility rule and the septic tank uh, rule uh, made it through the appropriation stop. Uh, so this was a bit of a surprise to me. I, uh, what I had heard was the department was uh, planning to amend on the stormwater rule at this at, at this appropriations step. So now that it's out of appropriations, it's on the floor um, in the uh, in the Senate. So there's no opportunity. Well, there's it's it's more difficult to amend on. It can still be amended on, but it, it would take a, a floor vote, not a committee vote. So that's where uh, it is on the on the Senate side. On the House side, the ratification uh, rule or, or excuse me, ratification bill is still at the last committee stop. So another another mechanism would be for the department to amend it on in the House, uh, have it pass through the infrastructure committee and onto the to the floor, and then from there, um, the the Senate can lay down its version and pick up the House version. And uh, and pass it through both chambers. So that's a that's another mechanism for uh, for for getting that out. Um, let me see uh, the floating vessel platforms rule. Uh, Wait, oh, excuse Jeff, me. Yeah, sorry. Go before, ahead. You, before you miss, move on from that one. So what does mm -hmm. that mean? It's on the floor now. Does that? I mean, does it have? Do we have any idea what the votes look like? Does it look like it's going to pass on the floor? Or? Well, this bill. Um, does not have anything to do with stormwater. This no, is no, two I, other. Yeah, the, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. But but you said it's on the floor now for vote. Correct. Uh, so it uh, so this this particular bill, SB 7002, can move forward without the stormwater rule on it, and the Senate can ratify these other two DEP rules uh, without the stormwater rule on it. Um, if uh, if they did that, there uh, I, I I think that that would effectively kill the opportunity to ratify the stormwater rule this year. Okay. But there's you know there, there's no indication of of it being calendared or scheduled for a vote. So um, by all accounts, it's it's still a window. Uh, there's still a window of opportunity for for the stormwater rule. Okay. Thanks. And, and I think the easiest mechanism would be to amend it on here at the committee. In the House, because it would not take a full floor, floor vote. So this will be the this will be the bill to watch right, HB okay. 7027 if it's amended or if an, an amendment is filed, uh, we'll see it and then that amendment would have to be uh, voted on to be allowed. Uh, onto this bill 
and then the bill would have to be voted on to make it through the committee. So there's two votes to get uh, stormwater onto the House bill. OK. Thanks. Right, and Jeff, just to just to add in, um, if if they try to do that, and and I agree with you totally, there's a window here for them. But if they tried to do that, they would meet heavy opposition from developers, home builders. You know, we would be there to say, "Don't do this." Um, you know, let's keep working on it. Um, so it it it's an uphill battle for them, I would say. But but you're right. There's there's still an opportunity there, which is why we we never give up until the hankies drop right yes sir all right so that that uh this issue is definitely uh occupying a lot of uh, a lot of people's attention and this is what i've been i, I met with coats uh once this week and mark thomason met with him once this week so we're uh still talking to dp about it um and dp is still hopeful that they'll get it ratified but i'm, I'm not sure if they would would bet on it or not. Um, all right, the, the rest of the bill list, uh, I'll just scroll through here and and somebody please stop me if you want to uh, ask a question uh, about any of these uh, floating vessel platforms. There wasn't a vote this week, but it was calendared for committee next week, so it made the top you know near the top of the list. Um, seagrass restoration, same thing, uh, didn't get a vote this week, but got calendared for committee meeting next week. Um, and same thing with phospho, gypsum, agricultural lands, and so on. So I, it wasn't a ton of activity. I, it is uh, worth noting that the um, the environmental protection bill that we spent some time on last week, uh, that we focused on last week, this week it did get calendared. So in the House and Senate, there'll be um, uh, this bill will be heard. Uh, on the 17th and the 18th, so it, so we'll be uh, there'll be action on the environmental protection bill next week. So that'll be something we'll be talking about next week. Uh, Phosphor gypsum study that did move through a committee, and uh, wastewater facility operators that moved through one more committee. So these are bills that are that are looking like they're they're making progress, and that we're they're uh, looks like they're going to see the finish line this year. And then now we're getting into the ones that probably won't. It's starting to run out of steam. Some of these bills near the bottom. Any any questions from folks about bills this week? So sorry, you were saying that phosphate gypsum looks like it is going to move through. Uh, this is just the study. But yes, it's it's making. Let me go back up to it, and I'll click on it for you. Um, yeah, Trumbull Trumbull's bill is through. Uh, it's 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 made it through the second stop. It's at the third stop. Um, excuse me. It passed. Uh, it passed its last stop. So this is now onto the floor, and this is for the study. This is authorizing DOT to do a demonstration project using phosphogypsum and road construction aggregate. So it's not a use yet, but a study. So it's made it all the way through uh, the Senate side and um, on the House. It is on um, it is on the agenda next week on its last stop. So yes, I think this is going to pass. All right, thanks. Sorry, I've been working on that with the GMEC committee, so I want to make sure I'm not update. Appreciate it. No problem at all. Any other questions? Bill, yes, sir. I see your hand. Morning, Jeff. On uh, Senate Bill 048, the grants one, there had been discussion about adjusting size for award, you know, not limiting it to populated counties or entities of 10,000 people or less. Do you know if any of that this language is still in there or got in there? Can you please remind me of the bill number? Uh, Senate Bill 048. Eight, I think. Hang on. Um, Senate Bill 0458 by Rodriguez. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. No, no problem. Um, I'm not familiar with that particular provision. Okay. Uh, it's it's on the second stop 
not scheduled for the third stop. That doesn't mean anything. There's still time. Uh, we got about a couple more weeks, I think, before uh, it would be a concern if it's not already at or scheduled for its last committee meeting. Um, so the language you're asking for, Bill, let me, let me write it down. I can. Yes. So uh, certain grants are limited to entities of 10 populations of 10,000 or less. And that mm -hmm. threshold, an arbitrary population threshold, cuts out some entities. Let's take, for instance, like a Highlands County or DeSoto County, where the need is clearly there, but the population is greater. So, uh, you know, they're looking for some relief in uh, that criteria for grant awards. And that doesn't relate to SRF. It relates, and I should probably, I should have pulled up the grant, specific grant of issue, but because this was a broad-based way, sort of grants bill, I thought there was language related to uh, you know, relief for for larger entities. You know, I mean, you've got rural, uh, you know, uh, what is it called, areas of opportunity and other things like that, but still mm -hmm. the, the limitation on 10,000 affects a lot of entities. So let's take another example. Take Okeechobee Utility Authority, where they literally, their service area is a fraction of Okeechobee County and Glades County, but because by statute, they cover the whole county, you know, that throws them over the population threshold. Understood. So there, there have been uh, no amendments to either the House or the Senate version related to the population threshold. So there's only been one amendment on the Senate side, and I just I just clicked on it. That's this amendment by Rodriguez, and it appears to only be conforming to the House. And on the House side, there have been no amendments. So whatever was in the original bill is still there. Okay, so it may have been a misunderstanding um, on my part, or maybe it's in another bill that I'll, I'll see if I can track it down. Thanks, Jeff. No, no problem. Sorry, I couldn't help you with that one. Anybody have any more questions? All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with uh, wrapping up a little early and giving you all some more time back in your day. As always, if you um, Bill, if you if you find the the provision you're concerned about and you want to flip that to me in an email, I'm happy to track that down for you. Anybody else has any questions or issues you'd like me to look at? Uh, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Everybody has a great weekend. Thank, Thank you, Jeff. Everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, everyone.